Hey there, this is Jason Garner. Welcome back to another tutorial on iTunes. This time, we're going to be converting a WAV file to an AIFF. The previous tutorial, if you haven't already seen it, was converting a WAV file to an MP3. Today, we're going to convert to an AIFF file. As you can see here, the song we're working on is Watching Myself Fall by Helga Kafer. This file currently is a 24-bit WAV file, 44.1. Let's find out and let's confirm that. You, you're taking my, my word for granted. But let's go under the Get Info pull-down menu. Click on that. And under the summary here, we can see all sorts of stuff about this WAV file. We do, again, confirm that it's a WAV or a WAV audio file because someone in their wisdom decided to drop the letter E and figured it would save millions on pixels across the universe. I made that up. I have no idea why they dropped the E. The size of it is 54 megabytes. The sample rate's 44.1. It's a stereo file and it's 24 bit. Now, what we want to change, the only thing, the, the thing we're going to change is AIFF, but you're also going to find this sample size is going to change. It's, it's a, one of the weird things about iTunes that no one can really give me a straight answer on. Click OK. We've confirmed that it's a WAV file, it's 24 bit. Now, as you may recall from the previous tutorial, and I suggest you go back and check, take a listen to that or a viewing of that if you haven't already, because I'm moving pretty quickly this time around. We will go under Preferences, and under the General page here, we're going to go all the way down to Import Settings. Uh, import settings are what you use to configure iTunes, to, to tell iTunes effectively, hey, this is what I want you to do if I put a CD in and I start importing files. You can import them and keep them the way they are as AIFFs. You can convert them to WAVs. You can convert them to MP3s. But that's all determined right here. Import settings. So I've actually got set for AIFF because I have this amazing power to see into the future, and I knew I was going to do that today, right? Now, you could have it selected for MP3 like we did on the previous tutorial as a wave, uh, wave encoder. That really doesn't make any sense since we've already got it as a WAV file. Again, we're going to convert it to AIFF. Let's go over to Custom and click on there. They've got a couple of different changes. I don't want to change the sample rate. Today's sample rate is 44.1 .1 kilohertz. The sample size, I'd like to keep it as 24-bit, but guess what? That's where it's unusual. Auto means it's gonna it's gonna go to the highest bit rate it can, which is in this case 16 bit. That is one of the unique things and, and a little bit of a quirk about iTunes. Our original file was 24 bit. If you convert to AIFF in iTunes, it's gonna be 16 bit. So, with that in mind, just keep that in mind. You're gonna get a, you're going to get a 16 bit file instead of 44. Uh, excuse me, instead of 24. And as a result, it's actually gonna be a smaller file. So I'm going to leave that up to your ears to decide if you can hear the difference. If you prefer to not do that, just keep that in mind when you're, you're messing with AIFFs, converting AIFF files in iTunes. Click OK. Let's click OK again. Now, let's hear the song uh, where we've got right now, and then we'll, we'll convert it to an AIFF. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so that's our audio file. Let's go back to the top. Now, under Advanced, previously this might have said something like MP3 or it could have said WAV file. Right now it says Create AIFF Version. So, that's the secret right there. We had to change it in Preferences. Now I'm going to click on Create AIFF File. Hopefully you heard a little chime noise of some sort. And, not unlike those great cooking shows, I did this in advance. There you go. I've got my AIFF audio file version of the same song. There it is. Let's take a listen and make sure it's all there. Baby, all right, so now we've converted a WAV file, uh, from, from a WAV file, rather, to an AIFF file for you to use it how you will. Hopefully you found this useful, and I uh, would just ask, leave a comment or questions, send an email to me if you've got any suggestions or thoughts on this tutorial or ideas about future tutorials you would like to see. Thanks again, and we will hopefully talk to you soon. Bye-bye.